guys welcome to the brand new series on this channel this is the skylanders imaginators sensei villain lock i'm super excited to play this i've been waiting all day to hop into this lock and it is going to be obviously in skylanders imaginators you can see the roster up uh up here it has five senseis and five villains hence the name so how the rules are going to work it's a basic lock when it switches to any element stronger in the zone you have to use a skylander of that element and when i'm going to meet the music so you guys can hear me a little better whenever it is senseis are stronger in the zone i switch to any of the five senseis uh i can switch to any one that i want when it switches to imaginators are stronger in the zone I can switch to any of the five villains that I want. The reason I'm implementing this rule is to make it a bit easier because this is on nightmare mode. You can see that right over there, it says nightmare mode. So this should be pretty awesome, it should be difficult, but I put a couple rules in place so that it makes it a little bit easier and more fair. So without further ado, let's hop right into this game. Oh, it's like fly on my monitor, all right. So, I think we are going to... Actually, it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll delete this one. I don't know. And you guys already know we're doing Nightmare Mode. Let's hop right into this. I'm super excited. It should be super fun. The roster I picked is... Let's see. Pit Boss, Flare Wolf, Starcast, Airstrike, Ambush, Grave Clobber, Pain Yada, Dr. Crankcase, Golden Queen, and Blastertron. These are just some of my favorite senseis. Some some of them aren't actually my favorite senseis, like Ambush I'm actually not a big fan of, nor Airstrike or Dr. Crankcase really, but I just want a good variety of senseis. And I can also unmute this now. I'm super excited. I'm gonna let the cutscenes play, just cause why not? I think that's what most people do. And I actually haven't watched this cutscene in a while. Easy there. Daddy's got you. Come on, Stealth Elf. You can't win if you don't try. Who says I didn't try? <laughs> Seems so cool. Sensei is coming in. Master, you've returned. <laughs> Whoa, you know these guys? Greetings, Portal Master. I am Eon. Why does Eon look so weird in this game? Don't be honest, I forgot there was even an Eon scene in this game. Because I always just skip the first cutscene. Everything in our world, and somehow this power has been reawakened. But now, someone is using it to create monsters, the likes of which have <laughs> never been seen. As a portal master, you must now use mind magic to create heroes of your own. This is a pretty cool cutscene. I never watched this. I don't think I've ever seen this thing in my life. I'm sending you the greatest Skylander senseis of all time. Alrighty, we are going to be using some of those senses. I'm pretty freaking excited, dude. Let's hop right into this. This cutscene I am going to skip. Alright, so to start this off, I'm going to use this guy. Why not? Flare Wolf. I don't use Flare Wolf very often. I do like his moveset though. I like using him. He's pretty fun. Yes! 
Let me quickly check his moves. Jump and press X. Right, let's see, let's test that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like this guy's moveset. This guy's really cool. Dude, I'm super excited to be doing this. This is the Sensei Villain Lock. I've been waiting all day to do this. Since some of these Senseis I, I actually got pretty recently. Today I actually did an unboxing of Boom Bloom, so go check that out on my channel. She's not in this lock though, because I wasn't sure if the package was going to arrive in time for this video or not. And I decided to make the thumbnail early and do all of this, which is pretty much the formatting for the lock. And I didn't. I just used ambush because I knew I'd have him in time. And so now, oh shoot, I need the key. And so now we're rocking with ambush, even though I do have boom boom, which I'd probably rather use. I tested out boom boom today, and she's. Uh, I like her, but I think there are better senseis. I think both of the ninjas are probably better than her. Like both the ninja senseis, I love Taekwon Crow and um, Starcast, but boom boom is just okay. I think she didn't do anything special. She's, she doesn't really fit my playstyle. Oh, first element switch, we got water. So, making his debut is Grave Clobber in the first episode. Get to use Grave Clobber. Grave Clobber's pretty freaking awesome. I just got this guy. And I do really like him. My one issue is his moveset, like, it's not really an issue with this guy. There's more issue with me. I don't really know how to use him perfectly well. Like, I'm not horrible with him, but... Uh, I sometimes don't really know what I'm doing, don't really know what the best attacks to use. This thing's pretty cool though. Things is a soul gem. <laughs> Whoa, a brawler, shrine. brawler shrine, although we are playing as a brawler, we will not be doing that. Alrighty. I love this belly flop attack, this thing is super awesome. It's just this attack is like... I don't really know what this is like. I don't know how these things work because sometimes I destroy them, sometimes I don't. And it's like, what? Okay, so that destroys it. This destroys. It, I think I don't know. It's very confusing. But this counter, like Grave Clover, is super powerful. The water element I don't think fits him as well as Earth, and I still think I like his villain more in Trap Team. But this guy is still pretty fun in this game. Definitely very fun. In Trap Team, though, I feel like his move so is more fluent, though. Two attacks that work perfectly together, like, can't really do much better than that. Versus this game, his moves are definitely more complicated. Not as easy to get the hang of, but once you do get the hang of them, super fun. Do really like using this guy. Spyro is hilarious right now. Alrighty. Senseis. We can use any Sensei I want. I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, pit boss. Pit boss? I don't really ever use pit boss much at all. Like, I like him. He's just mm. like I like pretty much all the other senseis more than him. Okay, that's a bit harsh. Like, they're definitely I like him more than a couple, but he isn't really anything too special. Oops, I did not mean to do this. Okay, that move is interesting. Oh, that's cool. I do remember that. So there's like these snake vortexes. He's just too spammy for me. I feel like you only use his primary attack. Not, it's not bad, but it's just not for me, really. Alrighty, cleared that. Okay. Alrighty. I do love this guy's design though. I have the legendary one, which honestly I think the legendary pit boss looks better than the regular pit boss. I think the staff looks a lot cooler as gold and red. And I don't know, I like the golden red color scheme. Like unpopular opinion, I think the golden red color scheme is better than the um than the black or uh, navy blue and gold from 
the original games. And something else that I'm just now realizing about this guy, his figure is completely different than him in game. His figure, his staff has like a golden outside trim, and the inside is a glowing red. In the game, it's reversed. Like in the game, it's completely reversed. That's really weird. I never noticed that. That's a pretty cool sword, actually. Alrighty. Got those two paths, and now we are on to the final one. Oopsies. Hold on here, I guess I'll just take care of these chompies. As far as Imagineers go, I want to talk about some of the senses that I want to get. Uh, definitely, I, I used to have Wildstorm and Robo, but I ended up selling both of them. I was like, I could use the money, and I don't play as them enough for it to be worth it. Like, having over $500 worth of scalanders, worth of two scalanders just sitting there, it's like, I I'm not mad that I sold them, but I do want to get them back eventually, because they were really fun and really cool. Um, and then we look at Chompy Mage. I've never had Chompy Mage or Imaginators, so that's any sensei out, or any villain I want. Which I'm going to use, uh, let's see here. Let's use Dr. Crankcase, actually. Chompy Mage I do want to get eventually. I'll probably get the Jingle Ball Chompy Mage. I'm not trying to drop 400 on green Chompy Mage, so that's my plan there. He he looks pretty fun though. He looks pretty unique. I think I'd have a good time with him if I got him. Um, let's see. And then there's definitely like bad juju I want. Uh, there's a few senseis that I already have come in that I don't want to spoil who those are. Um, so bad juju is definitely on my wish list as well as Mystic Hat. Aurora is someone who I want. Tide Pool as well. It's another one that I want. Um. Let's see, what senseis are there? I'm trying to think of, uh, I guess you could go by element. Earth, I have all of them already. Tech, oh yeah, I want Crash Bandicoot and Neocortex too, as well as Chaos. I really want Chaos. Um, not sure when I'll get him, but I do want to get Chaos. He seems super fun. He doesn't have a battle class, he kind of uses elements from every single battle class, which I find pretty cool personally. He looks like a lot of fun to me, so I'd love to have him. Dr. Crankcase. I honestly think I prefer his move, his move set in Trap Team over this game. I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but it's like throwing out these hat bots versus shooting lightning out of your hand. Like, which one seems cooler, bro? Like, it's gotta be shooting lightning. Like, the hat bots might be like, you know, they might be more effective in combat or whatever. But shooting lightning was really cool. All right, and here we go. Here we got chaos. So this should be pretty easy with Crankcase. He's got lots of range. And let's see here. Should be able to handle this guy pretty easily. On Nightmare Road though, this guy can put up a surprisingly difficult fight. But I shouldn't have too much issue, too many issues. I've got some experience with this game. And yeah, as I said, Dr. Crankcase is very good. Just dodge this, get the food. Quick shots have never been my favorite battle class. Like, obviously, I only have one out of the two. I only have uh, Dr. Crankcase. I don't have Tide Pool. But he's just never been for me. Neither have the, like, Imaginators of this uh, battle class been for me. I don't think their attacks are the best. Like, they're not bad. They're just... They're not for me. I prefer close-range Skylanders, for sure. I want them to have, like, a nice combo where they swing around a sword or swing around a shield or swing around a club. Like, that's awesome. But when you're just having guns that you shoot, it's like, it can get pretty boring. This guy's moveset is pretty fun, though. Like, I, I actually do like this guy. Like, he's not one of my favorite, favorite senseis, but I do think he's fun. Alrighty. Let's get over here. Okay, take care of these guys. Dr. Crankcase, his moves in this game flow together very nicely, which I do, I can't appreciate, because in Trap Team, his uh, moveset was pretty bare bones and didn't really like, there was really no synergy between his moves, but in this game, they all work together very nicely to crush Doomlanders like that. I was a pretty clean win, didn't take much damage, if any damage at all. <sighs> Alright, I actually had a lot of fun with that. Let's um, open this chest. 
and we are going to wrap up this level. And I think before I end this episode, I am going to go to the library and do that little, um, that little, like, side mission where I have to go free Flynn from the books. I just don't want to start episode 2 off with that, so I might as well finish this episode by doing that. Oh, this is super fun, dude. I'm super excited to play through this game. And after this level, it only gets more entertaining. It gets harder. Skylanders will start dying. Because this is Imaginators, they're going to start dying fast. Or actually, not because it's Imaginators. Because it's, um... Because it's, uh, what's the word? Nightmare mode. It's like Skylanders. It's going to be hard. Skylanders are going to start dying fast. So you guys will definitely want to stay tuned and probably watch this whole series. I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to release videos for this. I'm thinking, like, every few days. Every two, three, four days, maybe. Um, I feel like once, like, every day is just too much, and, uh, every, like, if I uploaded every day, it just wouldn't give you guys enough time to even enjoy the videos, but if I uploaded every, um, if I uploaded every other day, that would, that would more or less, um, that, that might be a little bit better, but I think uploading, you know, once a week is not enough. It leaves you guys stuck with one episode for too long. So yeah, I think every few days, two, three, four days, that's going to be sort of the sweet spot for what I'm thinking. We're just going to try to quickly do this so we can wrap up this episode. Create a creation, I think, is one of the best first levels in Skylands. Not exactly sure why. I just like it. A lot of people seem to like, um... Soda Springs from Trap Team. I think that's the best first level. Personally, I don't really like that level at all. Like, it's not bad, but it's just not for me, really. Like, personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. But it's the first level, I think it does what it needs to do. But Cradle of Creation, I would put probably on top of it. Might make a tier list of levels. Let me know what you think of that idea. I think it'll be pretty fun. Dr. Cranky is such an interesting character. I like him. I like his design. That move's super cool. I don't really understand how he's tech element, though. Like, he doesn't fit any other element more than tech, but he doesn't really fit tech that much. Oh, there we go. I always feel like I need to get the Imaginite chest in those, but I actually don't, so I don't know. Alright, and here we go. This will pretty much wrap it up. Just gotta destroy these. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I think we got that. Alright, we got that. That was pretty easy. <laughs> Success. Dr. Crankcase, I like his personality too. He's like definitely a likable character. Like it's easy to get behind his character and like to enjoy uh hearing him. Alright. That should be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Flynn, Flynn, Flynn. But he looks blocky as hell in this game. It's probably just because it's a in game cutscene and not like a and not an actual like pre rendered one. I do want to make sure that, like, the game volume isn't too loud. I turn it down a little bit. Oh, yeah, I need to talk to Persephone. Let's see here. Dude, I don't know what the point of Persephone was in this game. She's not even in the levels. She's only in the academy, which you have no reason to go into the academy once you start the main story. Because there's, it's like you're not forced to be here. None of the levels are accessed here. And um, Persephone is... um. Oh shoot, I still need to get that. And Persephone is, she doesn't do anything because you can upgrade your calendar whenever you want, as Eon is saying right now. Alrighty. Now we're leaving the Academy. That pretty much wraps up that. And that wraps up this first episode. Alrighty. Oopsies. Yes, we are ready to do this thing, Spyro. Mushroom River is up next. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. 
and make sure you like subscribe all that good stuff you already know what's up comment whatever you want to see next from my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode of the scounders imaginators sensei villain nightmare lock i will see you guys next time